Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we can switch dimensions. For example, we have these three dimension machines. So if we spotted a bunch of pigs everywhere and go to the nether machine and flip the lever, it'll turn my side of the arena into the nether and make my pigs into these zombie pigmen. This will allow us to create some super crazy custom bosses. So, Smirky, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I am, Curdy. Let's go. All right, let the battle begin. And like I said earlier, we have these crazy custom dimension machines for the nether, the end, and even a random custom dimension which we'll make sure to use soon but for this first round i just want to start off with the nether dimension so i guess let's just spot a super basic mob like a zombie and then i'm gonna grab this armor editor wand and this will allow us to put this knight armor on our zombies so we gave it a sword a shield and a knight helmet so let's do that to all these zombies and boom here we go we have six old zombies with this super crazy armor and so just like i did in the intro i think we need to flip this nether dimension lever to turn everything into the nether and make these guys into their custom nether variants. So without further ado, let's just flip the lever in three, two, one, and here we go! And oh my gosh, I think it works! Look, everything is the nether, and I wonder what those zombies turned into. And here we go, and what are these things? Look, my normal zombies with shields and iron swords turned into these nether knights. And these guys have even cooler helmets, even cooler swords and even cooler shields. Okay, this just made my mob like a thousand times stronger. I am so happy we made the arena into the nether. And I wonder what kind of thing Smirky spawned in his side because I am cheating with this one-way glass. So I'll be able to spawn the exact counters in the later rounds. But what did he spawn? It looks like he made his side the nether too and he has these mutant blazes. I wonder what he spawned to get these mutant blazes. Maybe he spawned some sort of skeletons or something? And then he flipped that lever and oh my gosh, these mutant blazes are pretty cool looking. But luckily for me, our mobs are definitely way stronger because with these shields, they'll be able to block every single one of the blazes' attacks. Let's go! And Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? My mob army is going so well, Curdy. I spotted some amazing mobs. Can you tell me what mob you started with and then what lever you flipped? Um, Curdy, I started with a skeleton and then I flicked the never lever. Wait, really, Smirky? Oh, my my gosh, why did you tell me that? Because now I'm pretty sure I know exactly what mob you have. Wait, you're right about that? Wait, I shouldn't have told you. That's a really bad idea for me. Yeah, I bet you have mutant blazes because skeletons have ranged attacks and mutant blazes have ranged attacks and since it's a nether mob, that's probably what it turned into. Oh my gosh, Cardi. Well, I guess you did get it right. You know what? You can just drop the walls. Alright, my mobs are definitely gonna win. Let's drop the walls! And boom, the walls have dropped! And what did you spawn, Cardi? What is this mob? This is like some nether bite. Yes, it is, Smirky. I spawned in zombies with swords and shields and it made these crazy nether knights. Whoa, that is so cool. And look at their attacks. It's literally destroyed their arena. I know. And, uh, wait, Smirky, where are your blazes? I just see a bunch of these blaze routes on the ground. Did they already all die that fast? I think they already died that fast, Cardi. I think this is the only room remainder of my blazes no that is so sad smirky i wanted to see my guys to do more cool attacks but i guess they already won so i think we need to reset the arena yeah i think we do too cardi because it is not normal right now yeah smirky let's reset it and there we go i just reset the arena but do not leave yet guys because we have still yet to use all of these crazy machines but first, this round, I actually want to see what Smirky's going to spot in before I spot in my mob. So do not worry. I'll get to these machines in a second. But let's just see what Smirky's going to spot in. And it looks like Smirky's holding a spawn again. He's standing next to the nether dimension. And it looks like he spotted just a single wolf. And he's trying to give it a bone. Okay, that is actually pretty funny. But I wonder what a wolf will turn into when he flips the nether switch. And look, he's going over to it. He's pulling it. And okay, everything turned into the nether. And oh. 
my gosh. Where did that dog go, though? And wait, look behind the machines. What is that thing? That dog turned into a super scary nether scourge mob. And I think it's turned around. And Smeggy's giving it bolts. And oh my gosh. This thing has a bunch of heads coming out of it. And I cannot see it very well. But this is going to be crazy. Okay, we need to spot a super OP counter to help to 100% win this round of the mob battle. So let me go over to my machines. And which one should we use this time? Well, I used the nether last time. So I don't really want to use that again. And this time, I think I'm going to use the end dimension lever. And for the mob I'm going to spawn in, I'm just going to choose a completely random spawn egg. And I'm going to choose this one. And wait, what did I get? Let's spawn it in. And wait a second. Did I literally get earthworms? What? These are just worms. There is no way these guys are going to turn into something good. Oh my gosh. Well, I did tell myself that I wanted to do this little challenge where I chose a random mob. So I guess we got to stick with these worms. And hopefully they turn into something super OP when we pull this end dimension lever. So I guess without further ado, are you worms ready to turn into something super crazy? Let me go to this machine and I'm going to pull it in three, two, one. Let's go. And oh my gosh, did this work? And yes, it did. Look at the worms. They all turned into these crazy void end worms. They're just flying in the sky. This is so insane. I didn't know these worms would turn into a boss this OP. Well, I guess that's what these dimension levers do. They can turn any normal mob into something crazy. And just look at them. I'm pretty sure these guys can literally teleport and they're all just flying away. But hopefully they'll come back before I drop the mob battle walls. And Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? Because I have something super insane. Party, if you have something insane, I'm just gonna let you know. I have something better than you just because I spawned an insane OP boss. Smirky, there's no way you have something better than me. You probably flipped the nether switch again. Am I right about that? Uh, yeah, you're right about that one, McCarty, but it didn't make a normal nether mob like a blaze or a piglin. Oh, it did something way better. There is no way you win. There's no way I win. Okay, Smirky, you might just have to say that to my super crazy mob I have. And anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? I mean, I guess so. Let's drop the walls. And boom, I dropped the walls. What is this, Cordy? This is an insane void worm. I know. Look at them. They're just flying in the sky. And wait, look, there's a ton of lightning. Smirky, I think my mobs literally have this insane lightning attack. And oh my gosh, I think your thing is taking a lot of damage. Yeah, that's why I was going to say they're insane, Cordy. How is this happening? And wait, I think your mob died, Smirky. I don't see it at all. Cordy, the only thing I see is fire. And it's not going to go out anytime soon because it's on nether blocks. No. Oh my gosh, Murky, but wait, where are my mobs? And wait a second, I think I see one over here and one over there. All of my mobs are still alive. What are they doing? Wait, they're not technically off the arena since they're in the sky. Are you kidding me? Yup, you know what that means. I just won that round of the mob battle and I think we need to just reset the arena. That's a little embarrassing for you. Oh my gosh, Shorty, you know what? Let's just reset the arena because it is a little bit embarrassing. Let's go. And here we go. We are on to the third round. This round, I am going to do the custom dimension. But first, before I do that, let's see what Smirky's gonna spawn in. And wait, did he just spawn in an iron golem? Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. And I wonder which lever he's gonna pull. And wait, it looks like he might be standing next to the end dimension lever. So when he pulls that, this thing should turn into a super crazy end iron golem thing or something something like that. I'm not really sure. I guess we're just gonna have to see. And he's pulling the lever. And oh my gosh, everything turned into the end for him. And what is this mob? That iron golem turned into this crazy guardian monster. And look at the front of this thing. It literally has a shulker box for a head and these massive end arms. Oh, this is not gonna be easy to defeat. But lucky for me, since I know exactly what this is, I know how to exactly counter it. And for the mob, I'm gonna spawn. I'm gonna spawn an iron golem just like Smirky did. But like I said, I'm actually going to use this custom dimension. And how this thing works is you throw a random block inside of this machine. So for example, I'll throw a jungle sapling. And now when I flip this lever, it should turn this entire thing into the jungle 
dimension or something. I'm not really too sure how it works, but I think that would be really cool. And then this iron golem should turn into a crazy jungle dimension mob. And I guess without further ado, let's just pull this lever in three, two, one. Let's go. And please tell me this worked in. Yes, it actually did. Look, we are in the jungle dimension now. But wait, where is my mob? There's just these leaf mobs everywhere. And wait a second, I think I see it. I think my iron golem turned into this super duper crazy wooden jungle golem. This is so insane. And look at its hand. It has this giant rock for a hand. And oh my gosh, this thing is insane. It literally has a flower on its chest. And I'm pretty sure it's spawning in all these tiny little leaf mobs too. Because I do not remember spawning in anything else other than an iron golem. So since I have all these extra mobs, there is no way that these are not going to be able to defeat this ender golem. And I mean, that's not even to mention that my thing is literally three times the size of this. So I should be 100% fine. Smirky, how is your mob army going this round? Because mine is totally about to win. Yours is totally about to win? No, it is not, Cardi, because I spotted such a good starting mob and it turned into a really good final mob. Wait, really, Smirky? Oh my gosh. Could you just tell me what dimension lever you flipped, please, Smirky? Uh, what if I told you I flipped the nether dimension? Uh, wait, you flipped the nether dimension again? Are you sure? Because I think you flipped the end dimension. Wait, how do you know, Cardi? Smirky, I could literally hear it. I, I just have really good ears. So I can tell which one you flip. How can you hear a dimension? Y you know it. Just forget it. All right, let's just drop the walls. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, then, Will, I just drop the walls and look at our mobs. They're all attacking each other. Whoa, did you do a jungle dimension, Cordy? What is this? Yup, Smirky, I flipped the custom dimension lever and it made this entire place. Whoa, that is actually so cool. But what kind of mob did you spawn in? Is that a jungle? abomination? Yes, it is, Smirky, and all of its mobs are attacking your Ender Guardian, and it's losing so much health. Wait, and Smirky, your thing died. Uh, oh, no, are you kidding me? How did all the small mobs kill it, and your big mob didn't kill it at all? And wait, where did my jungle abomination go? It's losing health. I think it fell in the void, Smirky, but I have all these other mobs up here, and that means I just won that round. Are you kidding me? That's insane. You know, it just reset the arena. I can't believe I lost like that. All right, Smirky, let's reset the arena. And there we go. I just won the third round and we still have two more rounds left. And these rounds are going to be so insane because I'm going to use the custom dimension for each of them. And anyways, I guess we can just see what Smirky's gonna spot in this round. I wonder what dimension he's gonna use. And it looks like he's spotting an iron golem again. And I think he's spotting this in because last time his iron golem turned into a crazy mob. So this time he's gonna do the same thing and I'm guessing he's gonna use the custom dimension, but it looks like he's standing next to the nether dimension. What is he doing? He has already used the nether dimension two times. I guess he just loves the nether. And wait, he's flipping the lever. And boom, the nether just activated on his side of the arena and look at his mob. That thing is actually insane. It's a massive netherite golem. But since this thing is a netherite golem, it actually is powered by lava. So if we can get a water dimension on our side of the arena and we spawn it up bunch of water mobs, it'll force this mob to come in the water. And that is its biggest weakness because as soon as it walks in the water, it will deactivate it and make it lose a bunch of health and it should work just perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a water bucket like this. And just like we did last time, we need to go to this custom dimension and throw the water bucket in it like this. And boom, this thing should work as a water dimension. And I'm just going to spot in three completely random mobs. So I got the creeper, the zombie, and the skeleton. And let's just spot in a few of each of these guys. And these are just all super basic Minecraft mobs, but when it turns into the ocean dimension, it should make these guys super cool. And I think this should be good. I mean, this is a lot of mobs, and they should definitely be able to destroy this netherite golem as long as they turn into something powerful. So let's go to our custom dimension lever, and let's just flip this thing in three, two, one. Let's go! And here we go. I think it worked! Everything is the ocean, and look at the mobs! I think the zombie Zombies turned into these super cool ocean gods. Look, they even have tridents on their head. I think the skeletons turned into these giant 
super scary fish. Oh my gosh, these guys are big, and I think the creepers turned into these giant squid kraken mobs. Okay, this is a super crazy combination of mobs. And with this many of them, there is no way that I lose to that netherite monstrosity mob that Smirky has. Smirky, how is your mob army going? Because I think I am just completely ready to drop the walls. My mob army is going perfectly, Cardi, and I spawned probably the best mob of this video. Wait, really, Smirky? I doubt it because I think I might have an exact counter. I have a bunch of water on my side, and you probably have a fire mob, right? Are you kidding me, Cardi? There is no way you do water as soon as I do a nether dimension. Let's go. I am so good at guessing your mob, and anyways, maybe we should drop the walls. Yeah, we probably should. And boom, the walls have dropped, and do you see my army? Let's go. What is this? These are giant squids and fishes and frogs? What? Uh, Smirky, these are not frogs. These were zombies that turned into ocean gods, and anyways, Smirky, I don't think your mob even wants to come near the water because it knows it's about to lose. There is no way my mob's about to lose. I bet he can do some attack where it literally, like, shoots uh, some attacks onto the water. It just kills everything. Come on, mob, please do that. I don't think it's gonna do that, but since it's taking so long to come over here, I'm just gonna have to pull it over myself with a giant chain, and let's just bring it in the water. Oh, no, Gertie, don't do that. You're gonna kill it. Smirky, let's go, and oh my gosh, I think it instantly died the second it went in the water because the water literally just put it out and made it mouth function. Party, that has to be cheating. There is no way that's allowed. What? Let's go, Smirky. I just won yet another round. I was definitely not cheating at all during that round, and maybe we should just move on to the final round. Oh, okay. If you weren't cheating, let's go. Let's go. And here we go. We are finally on the final round of the mob battle. You guys have to see this insane round. I have a crazy plan up my sleeve, but first, let's see what Smirky's gonna spot in. And wait, Smirky spot in some sort of grizzly bear mob. Wait, that's actually pretty cool. But it looks like he spotted in right next to the end dimension. There is no way Smirky does the end dimension. Because if he does that, that means he wouldn't have even used the custom dimension, which is the most OP thing. Smirky is super silly if he uses the end dimension. And wait, he's flipping the lever. And wait, that actually worked. And look at the mob he has now. That bear turned into this super crazy end bear. And this guy is massive. And look at his mouth. It has a bunch of super sharp pink teeth and oh my gosh well normally i would be a little bit worried but since it's the last round i have a crazy plan up my sleeve like i mentioned earlier so let's go over to my dimension machines take my villager spawning and we're literally just gonna spawn in a single villager like that hello mr villager and now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to pull one of all of these machines this villager will turn into a super crazy combination of every single dimension so let's start off with the nether dimension in three two one let's go and here we go everything just turned into the nether dimension and oh my gosh look at the mob this is the same mob that smirky had last time but it is super cool and we're going to turn this into the end variant now so let's go to this end dimension lever and just flip it in three two one let's go and boom look everything is the end now and look at our mob it's even bigger and better now and i think this is its end variant look at this thing it is actually so cool but now that we have this we need to move on to the final dimension the custom dimension. And what I'm gonna throw in here is this block called a structure void, which is a super corrupted block in the Minecraft game file. And this is so corrupted that when I throw it in here, it should make the corrupted dimension. And I guess let's just pull this lever in three, two, one. And yes, I think it actually worked. Look at the floor. And wait, what kind of mob do I have? And wait, where's my mob? Wait, there's just a bunch of these spawn eggs on the floor. And what are these spawn eggs for? Wait a second. These are the Cosmic Feed Spawn Eggs. I think the game knows exactly what I can do to win. And it literally just gave me the most OP mob in the game, which is the Cosmic Fiend. I love ending every mob battle with a Cosmic Fiend because it is so OP. But before I spawn these guys in, I want to show you guys something super insane behind this custom dimension machine. And look at this. It's a bunch of subscribe buttons. Only about 10% of you guys are actually subscribed. And I know so many of you guys watch watch the videos super often, and you can watch them even more as long as you subscribe. So everyone, I'm gonna give you three seconds to subscribe. Three, two, one.
one and thank you for subscribing guys it needs a lot now let's just get back to the mob battle and i think we can spot in these cosmic fiends smirky is your mob army done because i just want to drop the walls right now yes my mob army is completely done and right now i'm walking my op boss wait you're walking op boss okay smirky let's just drop these walls in three two one and okay i'm just gonna spot in my mob now what is this oh, oh this is not good okay i need to bring my mob up into the air so we can fight them. Oh my gosh, Merc, you're literally pulling your mob around and trying to make him fight my mobs, but I don't think it's working really well. Oh, uh, yeah, it should be working because look how much damage it's doing. Smirky, your thing is not doing any damage. All my mobs are just fighting each other, and I think your mob literally just died. Its items are dropping on the floor, and my cosmic fiends are all still alive. No, it dropped its leash on the floor, Cardi. Oh my gosh, that is so sad, but you know what that means? I just won the mob battle. Yeah, I know. That's what it means. I can't believe it. Every round you had like a counselor or just a better mob. I know, Smirky, but I actually do have something to admit. Do you know how I had a counter each round of the mob battle? No, I don't know at all, Cardi. What happened? Well, you see this item I'm holding. This is actually the one-way glass block. And that bedrock wall in the middle was one side glass and one side bedrock. Oh my gosh. So on my side, it was bedrock and then on your side, it was glass. Are you kidding me, Cardi? I'm not kidding you, Smirky. I'm sorry for cheating, but I guess I'll give you the win just because I feel a little bad. All right, Cardi, that sounds good with me. Thanks, everyone, for watching the video. And please subscribe, like I said, and click the video on the screen. Bye! Bye!